Robert De Niro and Jay-Z get into a verbal showdown at Leonardo DiCaprio's birthday party. So let me tell you what happened, okay? According to the New York Post and, and witnesses at the party, Robert De Niro was chilling at his table, okay? Jay-Z comes over to him to say hi, and apparently Robert De Niro didn't want to have anything to do with him. Now, according to the, to the witnesses, the argument was about Jay-Z was supposed to record a song for Robert De Niro's uh, Tribeca Film Festival, and uh, Robert De Niro called him six or seven times, and Jay-Z never called him back. So, uh, I guess Beyonce showed up, tried to, <laughs> tried to ease the situation, and Robert De Niro still said, listen, I, I guess, according to witnesses, I don't appreciate the fact that you never called me back. It's disrespectful. And Jay-Z's argument was, I'm just really bad at using my phone. Yeah. Thoughts, five words or less. They both scare me. <laughs> <laughs> my money's on Raging Bull. Badasses become teen girls. <laughs> team De Niro. Are you guys Team De Niro or are you on Jay-Z's side? And I love Jay-Z's music, but on, in this situation. <laughs> just the fight. Poor, can I <laughs> say, poor Leonardo DiCaprio at his birthday. That's <laughs> so messed up. So, so selfish. <laughs> that, it's my effing B, man. Get out of my B. <laughs> I would love it if it was my birthday and Jay-Z and I Robert De Niro were there and they were about to go fisticuffs at my I birthday. Know. I'd be like, it's fucking on. Yeah. Like, I would be so excited. I love that this was the talk of the birthday party, yeah. right? I just, yeah, exactly. It has to be that level. Like, most birthday parties, it's like, Sally spilled the frickin' soda. We gotta yeah. go get more. And it's like... Totally true. And you're a Ninja Turtle again. Yeah. Thanks, oh, yay, That's the Michelangelo. I, but I love, I love just picturing this conversation because De Niro sounds so much more badass than De Niro. You had Robert De Niro, he's just like, you didn't call me. And then you got Jay-Z go like, oh, I'm sorry. Ha, ha. <laughs> I don't know how to use Here's my phone. Here's the thing, H to the Izzo, B to the Izzo. I just Let's picture Jay-Z going, how does it work? You guys. Let's break it down now. Okay, do you guys think that uh, there's no excuse for not calling someone back? Do you think it's rude? <laughs> I just uh, yeah, I do actually. I think it's really yeah. rude. I get where Robert De Niro is coming from. That's right. It's They're so rude. rude. I'm just picturing De Niro be like, Jay Z hasn't called me back. <laughs> it's rude. It's rude. I mean, yeah. I've been guilty of doing that in the past, like where I just like it, it got away from me, mm -hmm. and 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 I and I go, oh, what a you know butthole. Like seriously, <laughs> like you call somebody back. That's right. you're supposed. Don't you think? Especially because they both do so much for New York City, and they yeah. should be working together to right. you know enrich the culture of New York. Or just calling back and say I don't want to work exactly. together. Exactly. Like, yeah. That's a good point. So if you are too busy, Jay Z, that's fine. We all understand it. But just let Robert De Niro yeah. know that you can't record the song for the Tribeca Film Festival, right? Yeah. Just call think, him back. Do you think it turned Beyonce on all the more being like? My man doesn't call Robert De Niro back. <laughs> I think he's done far worse he than not you call Robert before. De Niro. Do you think that uh, Robert De Niro had a reason to be mad at Jay-Z? No. No? No, that's what your people are for. You get your people to talk to their people, whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. It, no, <laughs> you no, don't no, ask no. a friend. You don't if, ask a friend if, to do that, you know? Ro no, if Robert didn't, listen, if he calls you, mm -hmm. you don't have your assistant pick up the phone and call, uh, hey, uh, Jay-Z's just not interested in doing a song. No, you pick up the phone, you take five minutes out of your yeah, day, and you call the person back. Especially if it's Robert De Niro. Yeah. Well, even if it's not, like, if it's yeah. somebody who you, you know, whether you have a relationship them with them or not and if, if you're gonna move forward on some kind of business proposition right. it takes five minutes yeah. out of your day to pick up the phone especially and call if them. you gave them your word if, especially if you especially gave them, if you your, gave word. them your word yeah Brett. yeah it, it comes it's basically like breaking up with someone over a text message you just have to bite the bullet yeah. and do it Couldn't for you have real did Robert De Niro or had his assistant at Lol. least pretend to be Jay-Z and text him that's would the that thing. would that have been okay? Get person, just mm. get get like Diddy to figure it out. Diddy. Diddy to deal with both parties. <laughs> I Send still leave it to Diddy. What do you guys think about their verbal showdown? Whose side are you on, Team De Niro or Team Jay Z? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've done so. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.